We be recording, 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 ordering, re 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 recording, recording. Oh my goodness. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Simon Tech once again, and today I have another What's in the Box? One of my favorite things about having a YouTube channel is sharing all the cool stuff I've recently picked up with you guys. Some of this has been sent over by companies. I'll tell you which ones when we get to them and some of it I've purchased. And so we're gonna get into it. Uh, I'm also not worried about labels because if you wanna send something to me, you can send it to the label on the box because that is my PO box. Aha! All right, so first things first. This one is, I tore the label off because this one came to the house. I don't know where this one came from. I actually have no clue. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Oh, maybe I do. Maybe this is gear best. Let's take a look. Oh no! Oh, this is awesome. That came fast. Yeah. So we have a house from the 90s as such. I have a thermostat that I can't tell if I'm at 75 or 70. And because we've been having issues with dialing that temperature in along with, of course, the super high bills in the summer here in Texas, I went ahead and picked up a nest. And now these will, supposedly it's just added to your smart home uh, devices. We have a ring doorbell as well. So just another, another little added smart home device. We're supposed to be getting a smart home router as well, but I don't know, we'll see. Awesome, I'm gonna install that very soon. Probably in the next couple nights. Next we have a box from Newegg, don't worry. Sons, I did not actually buy anything from Newegg. And I have not bought anything from Newegg since June. And my credit card data was not stolen because I did not use, I did not put my credit card information into Newegg itself. Just uh, quick tips there if you're buying stuff. This is, oh my God, oh my God. We got another one. I love that Antec is so badass. We're working on a RTX celebration build. I do it for everyone. I did it for Vega too, so don't get, you look guys, go fight somebody else. I like it all. I got another Antec 850 watt 8CG. These things are awesome. I don't need to open it already or anything like that. You guys can just go check it out up in the corner. Fully modular, fully awesome. All right, so this one apparently came from Amazon. Oh, ASRock, ooh, awesome. So uh, ASRock sent this over and it goes perfect. This is actually turning into some fun video stuff. Because this, it is what I think it is. Yeah, so this is the, oh, I'm super excited about this. There'll be a full review, because uh, Antec sent, or not Antec, Azrock sent this over, Antec sent this over. Antec sent this over for a build, not for a review, so we've already reviewed it on this channel. This is going into a build. This I bought myself, and this, however, goes really, really well with this. So currently, I am actually using uh, Netgear Orbeez, and I've liked them a lot. Uh, except for the satellite, had to get some firmware updates before it was really fully functioning. This is, I am sweating, I just ran, so excuse my sweat. Um, this is the ASRock X10 IoT router, so Internet of Things will work with this, I think, pretty nicely. Some interesting things uh, about it, as far as like if you're looking for features for this, it does support Mew Mimo which means that you can combine the two bands for fast speeds, which if you guys have Mew Mimo supported devices and do not have a Mew Mimo supported router yet, get one. Uh, as far as this review will go, I'll have to check it out. Um, it might be too small for my particular house. So we'll have to test the range, of course. Let's see here. It doesn't seem to have uh, a range indicator on it, but we'll figure it out. I'm not sure what the IoT does, but it's a home automation hub function. So Zigbee, built-in Zigbee radio to support uh, various Zigbee devices and sensors, including Philips Hue bulbs, nice, and Samsung smart things and more. 
uh, IR remote control, rich IR cloud database for all home applications, home automation, easy to use apps for if then rules, managing over multiple X10 routers and sensors. Okay, that's pretty cool. And uh, automatically trigger user defined actions when user enters or leaves home area. Whoa, whoa, that's creepy. Transnational remote control, remote control router and, uh, and IoT devices across countries through P2P technology and cloud services. So a lot of this apparently also has a, uh, you can control all of the functions, not only through a web GUI, but also through a cell phone app. So, oh, dude, that, that looks sick. So I'm excited about that. We'll have to check it out. Finally, we have something from Zotac, which I'm also excited about. Zotac did send this over. No, it's not an RTX card. One day a company will send me graphics cards. And on that day, I'll, I'll, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll be so excited, it'll be insane. Uh, I'm actually very excited about this one too, uh, here. Oh, they did pack it really nicely. So this is the original mini PC. Uh, so this is the Z box from Zotac. Uh, I reached out to Zotac, just trying to open up communications with as many companies as I can. Uh, they actually offered me an opportunity. There's only been a few companies that have. Antec's been great, uh, Azrock, and um, I don't want to. I don't want to miss anybody because it's it's a. Uh, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I think it's primarily Azrock and Antec that have sent me stuff. I did get a couple things from uh, Enermax, but ever since I was disappointed in their all-in-one, I don't know if that will continue. I, I shouldn't be unboxing this, but look at that. Here's my hand. Look at that. Awesome. Mmm. Two USB 3, we got a display port, HDMI, USB 2.0, dual NIX, so awesome. Wi-Fi antenna, VGA out, and of course that. Oh, you got a SD card reader in the front and a USB 3.0 in the front. And another USB, sorry, USB C 3.0. C, that's the important part in the front. And another USB 3.0. Um, Apparently, he did say I have to supply all my own stuff. So we will, uh, we have some memory over here actually that we're gonna throw in. And we'll go over all this later. Oh, nice. So it does come with the VESA mount plate. So if you wanted to mount this behind a TV, done. We'll do a full review on this, of course. So hit the like and subscribe if you like. What's in here? I'm sorry, I wasn't supposed to open my toys on the on the unboxing. Uh, screws for the base mount, the Wi-Fi antenna, golden. Hell yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. I think my LEDs are flipping out. Oh well, I'm really, really excited. So I want to give a huge thanks to Zotac. Azrock and Antec for their generosity and providing me these for content for the channel. We will be having that coming out in, you know, as soon as possible. I think I'm gonna get this set up first, even though mama, mama really needs this. And it would go really, really well with this to see if the nest works with this. I don't know what we're gonna do about this yet. Cause I don't know if I want to replace my current infrastructure. Of course not. I do not want to do that. Testing routers is hard, isn't it? I didn't really ever think about that. I guess technically I could just use a second internet line. Oh well. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, especially if you enjoyed all this sweaty, sweat, sweat unboxing. And I'll see you next Tuesday.